Hey, hey, friends, what's going on? I'm your buddy Keith, and we are live again in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. I've got the coolest Jackson guitar we've ever had to share with you guys today. If you're new to the channel, click like, smash the subscribe button. I'm going to show you the rarest guitars played by very famous people from all around the world. This one's no exception. So what do we have here? A lot of you will recognize this guitar instantly because of a very famous TV show called Pawn Stars. Yes, in 2016, there's an episode of Pawn Stars where a woman walks into the shop with a Jackson guitar that looks a lot like this one. And she says, hey guys, uh, I want $10,000 for this guitar. What do you think? And they say, all right, that's a bit of money. Let's tell us what the deal is. He says, well, I've got a guitar that was hand-painted by Phil Collin of Def Leppard. It's a custom shop Jackson guitar. It's totally unplayed mint case queen. All right. Well, they bring in their guy to estimate it, and he says, you know what? This thing is about ten. dollars Ten to twelve thousand dollars. That's two thousand sixteen for an unplayed one. They made thirty of these, thirty of them, to celebrate thirty years of Jackson. Well, what this one is is number six that was actually tour played by Phil Collin on the Mirrorball tour. In 2011, we've got one of the set lists right here that shows exactly it being used on the final song of the night. Looks like it was used on Love Bites, Rock On, and then Rock of Ages. That's for the Newcastle, Australia. There's the date. We have the strings from it being used on tour. This is crazy, guys. Already an extremely rare, extremely valuable guitar in its own right. Looks like this was built uh, at the very tail end of 2009. Yeah, December 30th. Wow. There's a great video on YouTube of him painting this. And what's wild is he's colorblind. So a lot of color. And it is hand done by him. That's his name in Japanese, as close to it as, as he could get. I'm not, I'm not uh, an expert, but uh, he did have uh, a Japanese guy there with him to uh, guide him. He got to do a lot of practice and everything, and uh, yeah. Really special about this as well, you have a reverse headstock. You've got one single shark fin inlay. Never did shark fin inlays on his normal PC1s. And... No middle pickup. I'll tell you what, I never use the middle pickup on the PC-1s. You've got the Sustainer, and you've got the DiMarzio. German Floyd Rose, and, uh, you know, headstock, everything. Everything painted by the man himself. And then on the back, on the back we actually have the number six in Japanese. Also hand done by the man himself. Signed, numbered. Only one I'm aware of that was actually artist played and toured uh, and ever made available to the public, which is wild. So if an unplayed one was 10 to 12 grand back in 2016 as an estimate, what do you think one's worth that was actually toured by the man himself who painted and signed the guitar himself? with the set list that's pretty wild and you can check it out i mean the patterns are all unique because no two are the same they're all hand done it's a bit random a bit jackson pollock but uh you can see quite clearly in the photos and the videos of him performing on that tour playing this very exact guitar number six whoa like I said, guys, I don't think it gets cooler than that. Um, I'm struggling to think, you know, aside from maybe the Dave Mustaine collection, this is, this is pretty, 
epic, as epic as epic gets, especially in the realm of rock, metal, guitars, and Jackson guitars. Custom shop built by the very, very best for their longest indoor C. I don't think there's any artist that's been with Jackson longer than Phil Collin of Def Leppard. He has stuck it through all the way, through all the changes of ownership, and uh, man, the guitars just get better and better. This is, in my opinion, the ultimate PC-1. I love the reverse headstock. The paint job and the story behind it is amazing. I mean, this is a piece of art. What you're getting is a signed painting from Phil Collin of Def Leppard that also has to be an ex happens to be an extraordinarily expensive custom shop USA guitar, and it also happens to be one that he toured with. That's uh, that's nuts. Wow. So we love having these pieces with uh, all the crazy stories behind them. Just show you up close so you can see some of the detail, like this beautiful kind of metallic finish. And so they definitely they did a lacquer over it. So it's all smooth. And then it looks like they had a base. He went to town hand painting all these streaks, beautiful metallic. Some are like blood red, blood splatter. Others are very uh, kind of blingy, pearlescent, metallic. The contrast looks great. Looks like they did a... A clear coat over that and then on the very top this is 3d this is his signature so this sign bit which is his name in japanese if you say oh well, why japanese what's up with that well mr phil collin is in tremendous physical shape he's a specimen and he is uh an avid martial artist black belt and kempo karate from what i was reading online and uh, I would imagine that's where a lot of the influence comes from. Number these in Japanese as well as in normal traditional numbers that we're familiar with and signed. Wow. Just a beautiful guitar. Neck profile on these are amazing. You'll uh, never touch another Fender again. And all set up to the spec he would have toured with really cool has the original hang tag number 8525 8525 the set list original case owner's manual plenty of uh silica gel last you a lifetime you can put it in your kids stockings for christmas i don't know why they give so much and uh as far as the paint finish goes looks like it goes over the edges of each horn, very, very cool, and along the side of the body. Wow. I would say this is the ultimate Jackson. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Wow, so, so cool. It's going to be available here to make music and continue its legacy. At Essex Recording Studios, that's why we have all this amazing outboard gear, beautiful amplifiers, preamps. All this stuff is to help make you guys sound awesome when you come record here. But we also have this gear to tell a story, to attract people, and to help raise funds for the studio, especially during coronavirus. No doubt about that. So if you are an avid collector. This is going to be expensive, guys. This is going to be new Rolex Daytona money. But uh, if you are an avid collector, get in touch. We'll have it up on Reverb.com, our good friends at Reverb, and we'll have it up on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. Do a little close-up of the headstock again, reverse headstock. Don't see many of those with the Fender profile. Love it. So thanks for watching, guys. Go check out the Pawn Stars clip. If you go on YouTube, you'll see it. I think it's got like four or five million views. Very, very well-known episode. And uh, I love that show. My family was in the antiques business. Was and is. And uh, I grew up all around that, that sort of uh, environment. People coming in trying to sell stuff every day it's 
it's exciting. It's a really good, really, uh, really cool career field. No doubt about it. Lots of variety, lots of interesting stories, and you never know what you're going to get walking through your door. It's kind of like here. All right, guys. Well, I got to get going. I've actually got another custom shop PC1 to share with you guys. It came from the same person. So get excited. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see it when we upload that very soon. And follow us on all the socials. It's at Essex Recording Studios. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. Awesome. Very, very cool. Listen to some Def Leppard, too. <laughs> Always makes me in a better mood when I listen to some Def Leppard. All right, dudes. I'm out of here. I will catch you later. Thanks for hanging out. Leave some comments. Leave some love. We will uh, see you very soon. Bye.